Now, when you're looking at a horse, the most obvious thing about him is his color. Is he black, brown, white? Okay, now, horses have specific names for their colors. So let's look at the one that confuses people the most and is the most common cause of question. And this is your white horse, your white horse. Now white horses are actually called grey horses. Okay, they're always called grey horses. So, why is this? Now the term grey actually refers to the skin underneath the coat and the very dark black skin that is often underneath the coat will give the horse his colour. Okay, so most grey horses have a dark skin under their coat and when you look at them around their nose or their muzzle, you will see that they're actually a dark silky grey colour. Okay, so, so perhaps the most attractive colour that people notice always straight away is of course the beautiful chestnut colour. And creme brulee at Shetland Pony Club is the wonderful chestnut colour. And you can see him here with this beautiful bright chestnut coat and it is called a bright chestnut. And he has the blonde mane and tail and that's called a flaxen mane and tail. So creme brulee is a bright chestnut with a flaxen mane and tail. So very attractive. Everybody loves a chestnut. Now interestingly we have another pony, creme caramel, who looks very very similar in colour to creme brulee. But actually creme caramel's colour is completely different. He is what is called a roan. And I'll talk about roans along with our other pony, Samson, in a little while. Now, Toffee, one of our most popular ponies at Shetland Pony Club, is also a chestnut, but not such a bright chestnut as creme brulee. Now, one of the most popular colours of pony, and the one that often people dream about, is the Palomino. Now, a Palomino pony is a cream-coloured pony and often has the very blonde mane and tail. And of course, we've got two famous Palominos at Shetland Pony Club, the most adorable being Honeybee here, who is one of our smallest ponies and he is a beautiful Palomino. Now, Honeybee also has on his legs, you can see some white markings and I'll have a little chat about those in a, in a while. So he is a Palomino with white socks. Now the next colour we're going to move on to is one that really should be quite simple. Um, but as we've learnt, nothing is completely straightforward in the horsey world. So we're going to look at brown horses, or the correct term for a brown horse is a bay horse, a bay horse. Now there are several different types of bay. But generally, a bay horse is characterised by having a lovely brown body and then his lower legs are often black. Let's have a look here at Prince William. He's a, he's a brighter bay and he's got this absolutely beautiful coat and you can see that he's got the darker mane and tail and the lighter body. Now, as we go through the year, his um, colour does sort of change slightly as his winter coat comes in. And you can see that he also has on him some white markings on the face. Now we'll talk about markings later. They don't actually affect the base colour. You use the base colour to describe the horse's main colour. Now, one of the simplest colours of all, one would think, is just a straight black colour. Now, it is quite unusual to have a horse that is completely pure black. And how do you tell if they are? Well, our pony Toby is a black horse. And if you have a look around his muzzle, that's around his nose and around his eyes, he actually has black hair. Okay, so that means he would be classified as a black horse. So what are the ponies who are mixed colours on their coat? 
Well, first of all, let's have a look at Batman. Batman, he's one of our most popular ponies because of his beautiful colouring and he has a coat that is black and white. Now this has a special word which you may have heard and it's called a piebald, piebald. Now the word pie actually comes from the bird magpie who is black and white. So that's where it comes from, the old English word magpie which means black and white, okay? That's why a pony is called a piebald pony. Now we also have two brown and white ponies that are called skewballs, okay? So a brown and white pony is called a skewbald. And our skewbald ponies are Robin Hood, is Robin Hood looking beautiful, and Little Dinky. Okay, so they're both ponies who have got brown and white markings on them. Now we do have some ponies at Shetland Pony Club who are rather unusual colours and very beautiful. So let's have a look at dear Samson here. Now Samson is a very beautiful pony and he is called a roan pony, a roan pony. And these are often referred to as a blue roan or maybe a bay roan. The feature of a roan is that they change colour throughout the year. So in the springtime, Samson's coat changes from a sort of brown looking all over to this wonderful silver. And you can see he's got the black legs down the bottom there. With a, There's an upside down triangle at the top of the leg. That point is very characteristic of a blue roan. Now he's called a blue, he's not actually blue, it's because the skin underneath is a, is a black bluey colour, very dark colour. So that is why he's called a blue roan. So creme caramel, although he looks a little bit like creme brulee, who's the chestnut, at certain times of year he has these white flecks come through his coat and so he is called a roan and a colour like this, a nice light colour that's a roan, has the rather wonderful name of being a strawberry roan. Now some ponies do have markings on them. So Prince William has this beautiful, it's called a blaze down the front of his face. So that would be, he would be called a bay pony with a blaze. And ponies, if they have one base colour but say white markings on their legs, they would be called, for instance, like Honeybee here, a Palomino with white socks. Okay, so the white markings are also called blazes and socks. Those are the colours of the ponies that you may come across. I know it might sound a little complicated, but the basic thing to remember is white ponies, like Hector Moonbeam and Gordon, are always referred to as grey. Brown ponies are generally referred to as bays. Thank you so much for watching our Horsey Jargon Buster series. You can catch up on the other episodes on our YouTube channel or come on over and join us at shetlandponyclub.co.uk.